Hey guys, how you doing? I hope everything um, is going well for you. Uh, and I just want to say thank you for subscribing and clicking onto this video. I'm just going to make it real quick, man. Um, I want to talk about Tiff and Ban about, about a year or so ago, or just over a year. I made a video of this young African-American uh, lady, girl, teenage girl, bust on the scenes in Africa, on um, in Tanzania. And, uh, you know, good energy, a little bit well informed, you know, rough on the edges, needed a bit of, uh, you know, chiseling. But one thing I've noticed is that she spent about a year or so in Africa. I think most of that she spent in Tanzania. Then she went to Ghana. And then from Ghana, she... Um, she's going to mexico she's going to different places right but i remember when she got to africa her intentions were i think to stay in africa she was planning on going to um uh, ethiopia and, and ghana and maybe settling between ghana and gambia <laughs> today the craziest thing is that today she doesn't even mention any of that she's actually now become like a, an a, 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 an african hater you know, and I say this because there's a video she did recently where she was talking about um, the the border restrictions in Ghana, right? And she said how it was the way they did it was unprofessional because the president announced, apparently without giving a grace period of when um, uh, uh, the COVID mandates will kick in, and it was just negative. And all of that stuff was negative. Oh, they're unprofessional. There's this, there's this, there's this. There's also a few videos she did back where she criticized a lot of things and about how she uh, wasn't really being honest when she was making her videos in Africa. And there's a lot of things she didn't point out and, and all this stuff. The attitude has changed. After a year of staying in Africa, her attitude has changed. I think now she's even gone back to America, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. I can I've sort of forgive her because she's young but but i honestly believe she'll go back to africa at some point um even though at the moment she sounds, she sounds like she's hate she hates it there's something africa has taught her and i'm pretty sure 10 15 20 30 years from now we're going to see different banner back in africa because that's just the way africa is it gives you something uh bittersweet you know, so at the moment she's bitter, but as as life goes on, she, she will learn how to handle Africa. And this is why I want to make this video. You know, for people that are moving to Africa based off emotions, don't do it. If you want to move to Africa, plan it. Plan it. If you really want to move to Africa, I encourage you to plan it. Sit down, plan it. Visit a few places. You know, you know, see which country you sort of like. Some some people like it like really, really underdeveloped because the dollar goes further in those countries, like the Gambia. You know, some people want something similar, whether it's like, you know, they're in America a little bit, you know, and you might find yourself in some parts of Ghana, you can get that flavor. But you also might find yourself in places like Rwanda on the East Coast, which is becoming quite popular a uh, destination for African Americans. And that's because the place is, is similar, similar -ish to America, where it's very clean. Not that all the places in America are super clean. There are some not so clean places. But it's, it's clean. And, and, and also doesn't mean the whole of Rwanda is just super clean. There are some places, obviously, that are not so clean. But the place is clean. It's organized. Good security. You know? Now, the other thing you have to look at is income, guys. Income. How are you going to generate income? This is why some of the most honest people I've noticed and the people who are actually ending up staying in Africa for good uh, I think a good chunk of the people I've seen so far are retirees because they got that money coming in and that little money in Africa will go a long way, you know. So they got income coming in and everything falls around that. You know, you got income coming in, you have a sense of security, the place you are in is clean and you are surrounded by people, by people that look like you. 
it gives you something you know so people don't don't base your emotion don't let you know don't make that judgment to move to africa based off emotions you know here's one thing i'd like you to always know america is the biggest economy in the world you know china got real money but america still is the biggest economy in the world every other country want to have a market in america what do i mean by that every other country wants to sell their products in america because it's the biggest market in the world the biggest economy in the world love it or hate it it's the biggest economy in the world so there are certain advantages that you have living in the biggest economy in the world compared to when to move when you move to let me put it this way to a developing country i personally i don't believe there's such a thing as developed country all countries are developing you know you can look at america 30 years ago it wasn't looking it's not looking the same way it's looking today it's developed uh you can um you can uh look at uh, uh, uh the way kenya was looking in in 2000 maybe 1999 until today doesn't look the same it's developed you know all countries are constantly developing because when you say it's a developed country then it's like they've reached their pinnacle the only way to go is down actually it's happening in some countries okay so you have a you have, there's a certain advantage you have just by virtue of you living in the uh uh uh, uh in a developed uh, uh country in one of in the biggest economy in the world you know so my, my, what I'm gonna tell you is use that that then once you once you get the Amer and you know American dollar can be used anywhere in the world once you get that American dollar you can live anywhere in the world if you want to move to Africa plan it guys plan it you know if you want to start YouTube start before you move you know see how it's going say you know maybe I'll make a, for some people can say I'll make a thousand dollars from YouTube every month and that's that would be your goal go for it but what i was what i would suggest is first of all visit the countries see the countries that you like because what's happening when people go there and all of a sudden they realize africa is not america you know and africans don't know much about a lot of things so they're not rolling out the red carpet for you and say oh welcome 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 because when you go in there you just blend in until you speak and then when you speak in africa they hear money you know so you might have not uh, uh, a, a red carpet treatment but but if you're already aware of the situation you know how to deal with a lot of things and you're not going to leave Africa angry you know because that's what's happening to a lot of people angry oh like Tiffany Banner in this case so Ghana is so unprofessional well Tiffany I'm in Perth Western Australia we've never had um, a community sort of a spread of COVID here since the beginning of COVID and i think and one of the reasons they've done that that's the case is we've shut borders to international travelers as well as people within australia from other states we shut the borders you know you hear there's more cases in melbourne uh sydney uh even queensland but you hear nothing from western australia and our premier here he'll shut the borders on the drop if it says oh they there's an increase in cases of COVID in uh, in Sing in uh, in Sydney, he shuts the border to Sydney travelers, and this is the same country, you know. So there's nothing wrong with what the president of Ghana did, announcing the mandate straight away and shutting the borders to the unvaccinated people. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing unprofessional about that. People are doing it all over the world, different countries. Because because what was fun is that now oh America at least does it professionally now that she hates Africa all of a sudden everything cool is in America everything America is cool you know we have to be very careful with some of these YouTubers guys I like the lady she's a young lady and I'm really sure she's going a lot she's gonna learn a lot from all her travels you know and like I said I know I'm not even hoping I know she'll be back in Africa at some point okay but we just have to be careful with the people we are listening to you know they make they'll make a lot of mistakes but we can learn from their mistakes so that when we make that move it's smooth for us if we are well informed about what to expect you know so let's um <clears throat> let's um 
Do your research, guys. That's all I say. That's all I want to say. Do your research. Do your research. Please. And don't expect some sort of red carpet treatment when you're in Africa. Don't expect that. You know? Don't expect the, the bro code and or like, bro, bro, and everyone will be like that. Nah. It might, it might work like that. It might not work like that. And some of it would depend on yourself, on your attitude. Because I can tell, like, Tiff and Banner, there's, there's another kid in Tanzania, African American, another young guy called Mark Meets Africa. That's her channel. Look, check it out. Mark Meets Africa. Actually, she did she did hang out with Tiff and Banner when he was uh, when she was in Tanzania, and apparently, they ended up uh, uh, not having a great time. Uh, Tiff and Banner even called her uh, called him. Um, uh, what did she say? He was like, uh, what's an American term of? Um, uh, like he's working for the government or something like that. I can't remember the exact term. Like he's trying to sabotage our travels, something like that, which I, I don't believe so. But that kid, Mark, in Tanzania, and the stuff he's doing is a bit more equipped, I think mentally, even uh, in mentally, uh, uh, a bit more equipped than Tiffany Banner. And that's why he's, he's doing so well in Tanzania. You know, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. You gotta be mentally prepared, mentally equipped. The, just the idea, here's the thing guys, if you are used to being a minority, let's say in America, maybe some places where you guys will be like the only black guy there, and then when you go to Africa, everyone is black, that in itself can shake your body a little because you're not used to it. It's simple things like that. And then it's just like, you look at the billboards and everyone on the billboards is black. You know, that in itself can shake your body, can shake, can shake you to your core. You know, because it's not something you're used to. It sounds simple, but these things do happen. Simple thing like that might have maybe even a negative impact on you. Not Some people might feel empowered. I think a lot of people might feel empowered. Oh, I'm part of the majority now. It feels great. But there will be people where that will actually affect them in a negative way. Okay, check out uh, Mark Meets Africa. She's a, he's a good kid. He does amazing things. And he's still in Africa. He was there, I think, before even Tiffany Banner arrived. This uh, And the kid is still there doing amazing things. You know. So, guys, do your research. Do your research. Don't expect too much from Africa. You know, don't expect too much. Start making friends. That's how you start. Make friends before you make, before you make your move. You know? We gotta do this thing right. But most importantly, for me, I think the first people that should go are either retirees or entrepreneurs. When entrepreneurs go there, establish businesses, and then they start pulling other people. Okay, we got a, we got a corporation we are running. If you wanna come and, uh, and work for us, you know, we, we might not pay you $250,000 what you're earning in, 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 uh, in the US, but we might pay you, hey, maybe 60. You know, but that that would be pretty good here. You know, and and you make the uh, you make uh, uh, decisions like that. Yeah. So guys, that's all I wanted to say on this one, and I hope you're all doing um doing well. Thank you. Hope you get some of the points. Have a great time. Goodbye.